Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, of course some of you are asking me to uh, do updates uh, regularly on the progress of the May 2020 update or version 2004, how it's going and everything. And once again I want to uh, kind of, you know, tell everybody. First, when you see that there are issues and we know there are known issues in the May 2020 update, um, if your computer has one of these issues or these problems you don't see this update show up i see still a lot of people saying well you know with all the problems that it has i'm not upgrading uh, even though it's showing up in windows updates remember if it's showing up in windows updates for you it's because you don't have any of these problems the problems keep you away from it so the way microsoft does its upgrade process is it checks if your machine is ready and could have one of those issues or not. Once it checks and clears that everything is okay, that's where you get the Windows update of um, the May 2020 update. So if you have it in there, it means your PC is technically fine for upgrading without any problems. Uh, we've posted a few videos of things to try if you don't see it, um, things that might be blocking, including the OneDrive trick. A lot of you have upgraded with that. And actually, what I see is that everybody that has it showing up in Windows Update, pretty much everybody has a good upgrade. Everybody seems to have an upgrade that works fine. I was looking at some of the statistics and some of the information about the upgrade process, and what I noticed, and it's every time is the same i mean every version of windows 10 we have is the same people that complain with problems 90 percent of them have forced upgraded with the media creation tool or um, just downloaded the image and did a clean install with their uh, computer not really seeing it yet i always say it's better to wait for windows update to show you the update to upgrade rather than actually forcing it it's another example of this happening although also i see that a lot of people that have problems after the upgrade are people that have their pcs are been using their pcs and have upgraded in actual um, using the media creation tool for example upgrading the actual windows forcing the upgrade on a pc that has uh, software and has you know that that they use every day uh, once again, I will tell everybody, if you are on, um, you know, if you don't see it on Windows Update, just wait. It, it uh, There's no problem there. A lot of people still saying, well, you know, my PC is recent and it doesn't see that update. Is there something wrong? There's nothing wrong. Something is right now not giving you the update. That's all. And it doesn't matter. And it's not, there's anything wrong. There's not, there's nothing wrong if you don't see the update. It will one day show up and you'll have it. Just wait for it. If you do update, and that will be my recommendation because a lot of you are saying, well, you know, can I, I don't want to force it. If you force it, what I would recommend, okay, the best way to force update your machine is to do a complete clean install with it. If you are to force upgrade because you really want it, what I would recommend is that, of course, you go to the Microsoft page download the media creation tool create the uh, create the um, DVD or USB thumb drive um, Windows Windows 10 download so um, you know I'll post the link to the page here but here is where you get the May 2020 update and uh, that link will be in the description below the video once again you can update through here or you can use the media creation tool to create a bootable media that you do a clean install with uh, if you update or upgrade via the tool then make sure that you erase everything on the drive don't keep anything uh, back up your files and folders and, and do a clean install I think that's your best uh, bet for a good upgrade one of the biggest problems with upgrades, once again, and I will, um, you know, people don't realize that, but if you've been using your PC for years without any uh, clean install, you've been using the same Windows install for two, three years, or maybe I have upgraded for two or three times in the past with uh, all of these updates, 
Um, you know, you are, as time goes by, you have more and more little things that you actually bring along with your PC and little problems. Sometimes it's a little problems that you might not notice. Sometimes you notice a little glitch, but you just live with it. But as time goes by, a clean install is something that really, really helps a lot. And I recommend that if you do want to upgrade to the latest versions, I often recommend, you know, uh, once a year when there's that big version, could be that time to reinstall, starts from scratch. Uh, will also speed up your PC a lot most of the time. So these are things that uh, to know. Of course, there are uh, blockers for a lot of different uh, hardware, so uh, including Microsoft's own Surface devices. Uh, right now, not getting the 20, 2004, uh, 2004 version. So just hang in there. But the rollout for those that have through Windows Update is going well, actually. Uh, it's really, really just um, a, a variety of different issues. And once again, you know, don't forget that people that have good upgrades rarely talk about it where everybody that has problems talk about it and it just takes a small amount of people that go that have problems and you have the impression that it's a huge issue and the you know version 2004 has its issues but it usually rolls well if you just follow the basic rules of not forcing it and waiting for it to appear in Windows updates if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.